This is a quick video about the basics of working with numbers in JavaScript. I have it set up to log this number to the console, so we'll see it appear over here and the number is up here, the number equals 12. You can do all the standard operations in JavaScript. So I can do plus 2, 14. I can do minus 2, 10. I can do multiplication with the asterisk. Yep, 24. I can, you can do division with the slash, 6. And you can even divide and get a decimal answer. Also, there's the modulus operator that gives you the remainder. So 12 uh, modulus 7, we're going to get a remainder of 5. It would really be 1 remainder 5. 7 goes into 12 one time with a remainder of 5. And you can do all of these operations with decimals. So I can do 7.3. We can multiply by decimals and you can divide with decimals. And one thing to notice is that all numbers are eventually rounded off. So it's not going to go on forever. So that could affect accuracy in some programs. Okay, if you just want to add 1 to a number, you can do plus plus at the end. That is going to increment the number 1. So it started at 12, and now we're at 13. And you can also put minus minus to decrement the number. It's going to now go down 1. A lot of times in programming, you want to do something like this. Number equals number plus 5. And there's a quick way to do that you can do it like this plus equals so whenever you see this number plus equals five that's the same as number equals number plus five you can also do that with multiplication that's number equals number times five sixty remember the number is twelve you can do it with division you can do it with subtraction and then i just wanted to show you one last thing with the numbers plus plus and you can see that it's going to show 12, but if we do console.log number again, so it's going to console.log the number, then it's going to increment after it logs it, so then when you log it again, it's 13. However, if I take this plus plus and put that at the beginning of the, the number, let me clear the console and run that again, it's going to increment the number and then log the number. So if you have the plus plus or the minus minus before the number, it does that before doing what I was just about to do with the number, which was logging it. But if you put the plus plus or minus minus after the number, first it does what I was going to do, which is logging it, and then it increments or decrements the number. Well, those are numbers. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.